Matthew chapter 25, we shall be reading verses 35 and 36. For I was hungry, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. You are not a Christian until you have the spirit of the good Samaritan. You are not a Christian until you are a blessing unto others. You are not a Christian until you love your neighbor as yourself. You are not a Christian until you take care of strangers. You take care of a stranger. We are not sent to solve all human problems. But if it's only one person, or two. You are not a Christian until you have fed somebody who is hungry. You are not a Christian until you have given clothes, not worn out clothes, to people around you that are naked. You are not a Christian until you have demonstrated the love of God to that neighbor that is sick. Christianity goes beyond living in holiness. You must demonstrate the love of God. There's a woman in my neighborhood, I'm not judging her. I'm just commenting on her. She goes to a church that is known to be based on holiness. And every morning she comes out to preach. To evangelize on the road any, any morning. But this is a woman that doesn't greet anybody. The people she's evangelizing to, she does not greet them. She walks past them. Yet any morning, every morning, she be she be crying, repent. Somebody you don't talk to, you don't chat with. Somebody you don't greet, you don't visit any house, you don't participate in anything. And you be crying, shouting, repent. How can you minister unto them? How can you minister to them? So it's not enough to say, I don't commit sin. You must demonstrate the love of God. You must demonstrate the love of God. Not in COVID-19, what are you doing? There's COVID-19 all over the place. What are you doing to the people who are losing their jobs, who are losing their businesses? You are not a Christian until you have demonstrated the love of God. Receive the Spirit of Christ. Receive the character of Christ. Receive the power of love. Demonstrate the power of love. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.